Hi everybody, welcome. Um, this time I wanted to do to split the tutorial on a number of parts as I thought it would be too long. Um, what I would like to do in this series of videos, in this long tutorial, to really uh, create um, a part of a song from the 80s. So um, let's start with the first uh, um, video, part one, and uh, let's start creating the basic and creating a bass sound. So here we are in uh, MI Rack. So let's click on the plus sign, let's select the tags, and then first thing first, let's select mixer and then the mix eight for to have eight channels let's connect the left output of that mixer to the uh, left um, audio output the same for the right channel in this way next let's click again on the plus sign let's go to oscillator vco and let's select the same modular synth and click add to patch um let's connect that um, first of all let's to turn down the VCA to uh, the zero so we don't hear the sound straight away and let's connect the low pass filter output from the VCF section to the mixer input here we are so let's listen okay as you can hear the sequencer is going through the steps the 16 steps of this first sequence um, so first thing I would like to do is create uh, um, a sequence for the bass. So let's start and um, the first four step let's use uh, an A flat for all of them. The next four step in a B flat. And then last eighth step, we leave it to a C, but we increase the octave. And this will give the sensation, or it will give the sound that I'm uh, going through a cycle of chords from A flat major to B uh, flat major to C minor in ascending order. And let's listen. Oops. Okay, next thing I want to do is to transpose down by two octaves the sequence I created. So I click on this button here for trans transpose. Click on that, it says plus zero on the sequence. We use the dial underneath to step down by 24 step, which is two octaves. Let's, let's listen again. Okay, perfect. So click that twice, we go back to the sequence. Now, I want to use a sawtooth wave, so I click on the VCO section sawtooth and I connect it to the input of the VCA. Next, I want to customize a bit the ADSR, so I decrease a little bit the attack, almost to nothing, decrease a little bit the decay. I want a bit of sustain, but not too much. The same on the release. And I use this envelope generated by the ADSL module also to drive the frequency inside the VCS, VCF uh, section. Here I decrease the frequency like so, increase a little bit the resonance, the drive, and I leave the frequency V dial like it is. Let's uh, listen now. Okay, next I'm going to play a little bit more with the parameters to um, see how um, it sounds until I'm pleased with uh, the sound. What I'm going to do now is trying to transpose it down by another octave, so to 36. See if that sounds still good. Let's try. Okay. 
Perfect. So we have created in this part one a bass sound and added a mixer. I showed you how to create um, um, sequences, uh, steps in the first sequence, how to transpose it down and how to change the parameters to create the sound you like. Um, see you next time on part two. Bye.